Hello my marvellous sausages, it's Destiny 2 Reset again, it's the 5th of July, lots of interesting stuff this week, looks like we've got a new mission with the a new seasonal stuff, we've also got interesting weapons with Banshee, we'll have a look at what's been reset, but of course we start as we normally do with the Eververse store. Right, so let's have a look at the silver malarkeys, we've got the charity item here, the loyal companion emote, which is very very nice indeed and I absolutely love that, yes that's bloody great, we've got that there. Then we've got uh, the Mark of the Falling Star. This is the one for the Titan. Now, this is the one that uh, works with the Curious of the Falling Star. When you stick it on, it activates and goes all sparkly. There we are. Look, isn't it absolutely blinking marvellous? Yes, I love the look of that. Well, that's 600 brightest. Now, the Hunter-specific one is called the Cloak of Bacchus. I've got it on here with my Mask of Bacchus. And what happens is you get these little jets shooting out of the top. Look, so that's how that one works. The Titan's silver ornament is the Bond of Battle Harmony, so it goes with the mantle of battle harmony and what happens is look you get that really cool lighting effect there it's like an rgb computer tower isn't it yes very sexy indeed and pretty understated but also gorgeous next we've got the no time to explain weapon ornament here called golden days and oh, that's very nice isn't it actually haven't seen that one before. Oh, it's new this season. That's why that would explain it. And then you can complete the set for the Incar Incarnadine bundle stunning ship in this. I've already got that though. So we've got the uh, Sparrow there, which is very, very special. Nice jets. And we've also got the Weirdly Ghost as well, which is rather interesting. It's like a, it's like, well, he looks like a, like a pool ball in there, doesn't he? Bless him. Right then, let's have a look at what we've got for Bright Dust. First of all, we've got the Seven Shaders, Seven Sisters Shader, the Seven Shaders Sisters. Now you can't really see much on here, but but it's got animated elements to it, which are absolutely fantastic. You really should pick that up. It goes so well on weapons and things. That's brilliant, the old Seven Sisters. Pick that up. Ooh, this is new. Ghost Purple Transmat Effect. Let's have a look. Um... It's not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. It'd be good if it was a Pac-Man ghost or purple coming in, but never mind. Ooh, we've got the Springtime Scales. Now, this is for the Aegis Scepter. Makes it nice and green and basically looks like a dragon, which is fantastic. That's rather nice. What's this one? Rocket Stomp. Oh, yes. Oh, that's quite cool, that one. Isn't it? Yeah, I do like that emote. Very sexy indeed. 3,250 Bright Dust. Bloody hell's bells. Let's go and have a look at the Bright Dust. I love this emote. It just conjures up loneliness and misery, which is, uh, you know, how we all felt when Forsaken came out. That's well worth picking up. How much is that one? 3,250 as well. Bloody hell. Uh, we've got a knitting project here, which is a legendary emote, which is quite nice. So you knit away, clickety-clack, and then when the emote stops, you get it out. Like that. You've got a lovely big tea towel to hang on Zavala's wall. Loads of people want this. It's the prized ivory weapon ornament. Oh my god, that's amazing. For the ore stringer, that is gorgeous. That is well worth picking up. 700 Bright Dust. Yes, please. I'm buying that immediately. And next week, it's for the uh, Callus Mini Tool. So uh, keep an eye out for that one next week. Uh, we've got the Core Deception Vehicle here, which has got E. Gregory all over the bloody place, which is quite nice. How much is that one? 2,500? Right, we've got ornaments here now. This one's for the Titan. It's for the Path of the Burning Steps. That is very nice indeed. I do like that. It's like a barbecue grill, isn't it? Yes, that car horn popped outside then. The hunter ornament for Bright Dust is the Cathartite <laughs> was it? Cathartite filigree for the Celestial Night Hawk and my god it looks bloody good, doesn't it? That is really very nice. Can't see it because of me bloody hood, but that is rather sexy. The Bright Dust ornament is for the Aphidian aspect called the Coiled Lasso or Lasso and uh, it's very nice. Really <laughs> western themed. I bloody love that. That is great. And then what have we got here? We've got the Sunrise Sabre for the Black Talon, which is a very swash buckly buckle my swash ornament. Excellent. That's nice. How much is that? 1,250. Not bad. I've got the Atheon Projection Ghost Projection there, which is actually quite good. Looks like a ship, actually, doesn't it? Top down. Uh, what do we have here? Reef Shimmer. Whing. Hey, that's quite nice. Ooh, I like that, the Reef Shimmer. I've already got it, apparently. Uh, reflection Effects. Yeah, seen this one a good few times. Ooh, I like it. I like that little... At the end there. That's cool. Uh, hive Arrival for a change. 28 million times this season. Nectar Dynamo Shader. This is a... <laughs> Look at it. It's great. But it goes so well on lots of things. Yes, it's lovely. Keep it up. Uh, Byzantium Lotus Shader. That's very good. Bit purpley, the theme. 
theme this week looks pretty good too. I do like that, baby. Uh, Coastal Swed. Coastal Swed. Ooh, that's quite nice. That's from um, Season of Opulence there. But that is actually quite a nice shader, isn't it? Yes. And then finally, Temperature Wash. Which, you know, it's quite bland, but it's okay. What's that? Season of the Forge. So there we go. There's your Eververse Malarkeys this week. Right then, let's run over to old Banshee and see what goods he's got from Light GG. Something odd is happening. So let's go through them. Yes, it seems to be. Anyway, I'll show you in a moment. First of all, we've got the Legal Action 2 Pulse Rifle. Now, not a very popular role this one. It's only been given a D on Light GG, but it's got Osmosis on it, which is a truly excellent perk and makes any weapon very handy, if you ask me. It's also got Moving Target, Accurized Rounds, Appended Mag, Hammerforge Riffling and Fluted Barrel, and it's got a Reload Speed Masterwork on it as well. That's not too bad, however, not very popular with the D there. Then we've got the Enyo D here. This has been in and out uh, quite a lot the last few weeks. This one comes with Sympathetic Arsenal, Tunnel Vision, uh, what have we got here? Appended Mag, Steady Round, Small Bar, and we've also got Extended Barrel as well, and no bloody Masterwork on it that I can see. This bug is driving me insane, so I've got to buy this to see what the what the masterwork is hang on so there we are purchased and the masterwork is a handling masterwork lovely right this is the interesting one we've got the ogma pr6 you know this is an excellent excellent role uh, it's been given an s it's very popular like gg it's considered a god role ladies and gentlemen round of applause for the omel on there now let's have a look at what we've got we've got wellspring yes excellent we've got demolitionist as well we've got accurized rounds fled magwell polygonal rifling and extended barrel and it's got a reload speed masterwork too excellent well worth picking up another opportunity to pick this baby up and get that one if i were you uh, next then we've got the galu r r3 not a popular role it's been given a d for the popularity stakes but we've got focused fury no distractions extended mag fled magwell full bore and hammer forged rifling as well and no i can't bloody see this one either hang on this bug is testing me it's got a range masterwork on it which is quite nice next we've got the palmyra b rocket launcher is this a popular role semi popular it's been given a c it's got explosive light which is great it's got ensemble black powder high velocity rounds quater mass in the pit and confined lunch in a cupboard with a reload speed masterwork not that good there considering you can craft it and we're back with the swords this week ladies and gentlemen this of course is the crown splitter for the uh titans now what have we got here counter attack relent the strike heavy guard hungry edge glen close and we've also got tempered edge as well and of course it's an impact masterwork not a very popular role that they've only been given a d the hunter sword the quick fang is here this has been given an a rating so it's pretty popular the quick fang of course makes you leg it around a little bit quicker which is excellent the role we've got is one for all thresh sword master's guard enduring blade glen close and tempered edge and of course an impact masterwork on that baby it's been given a b I beg your pardon. Yes, that's not too bad at all for the Hunters. For the Warlocks, we've got the Eternity's Edge. This hasn't been given an A grade. It's got Assassin's Blade, Thresh, Infinite Guard. Um, we've also got Hungry Edge, Enduring Blade, and Glen Close as well. Now, this particular intrinsic thing means that it's a, a Vortex frame, so you've got a spin attack, but you can also block without using up any energy. It's an unlimited block, which is very, very useful. So pick that up, Warlocks, if you haven't got it. Armor-wise, we haven't got much this week. In fact, the only one that I could sort of recommend is this one, the Wildwood Robes, for the Warlocks. And the reason being, it's got a 28 stat for mobility, 18 for discipline, a total of 60. But that is actually probably the best one we've got this week, and even that one isn't very good. So what have we got here? The Burn this week is Solar Singe Splendid. We've got yeah, the Nightfall is the Proving Ground in Arcadian Valley. Now, it's double Nightfall Rewards this week, so it's well worth running this for extra gear, enhancement cores, nightfall weapons, exotic this and doodars and that. So make sure you run the nightfalls this week. And we've got the Grandmaster as well. The rewards is the Silicon New Roma Sniper Rifle. In Savathun's Throne World, we've got uh, Ultra Reflection Insight and the weekly mission is, what's this one? It's the Ghosts. Uh-oh, that's a bit of a tricky one. There usually is another one of these around you somewhere as well. Yes, of course, there we are. Ultra of Reflection Choice. So here we are back in the helm for the Seasonal Malarkeys. Nothing seems to have grown very much. Is this a bit more out? 
tentacle wise testicle wise i don't know let's go and have a little look and see what we've got now we don't have any more bobbleheads of course but i've done every single bobblehead so if you want to go and see where to find them there'll be a link at the end for the old bobbleheads there's all the ghostlies let's go and see what uh, eris has to say so after i had an old chin wag with eris uh we seems that we've got a new mission this week so i went to run the first part of the bound in sorrow and it turns up a new mission called cathar you can see it here on the moon and it seems that we're running look it's got its own separate node and everything now I'll be running this live on my channel live streaming tomorrow so I don't know what's going to happen to it but it certainly is rather exciting so there we go lots of things afoot this week can't wait to have a go at that mission and don't forget if you enjoyed the vid please give me a like that really helps the old algorithm there and let me know in comments what you bought from the Eververse store thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon sausage Ute.